Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with the Synergy Collaborative, and I got my friend for Wellness Wednesday on again. It's Dr. Derek. You there, buddy? Good afternoon. How are you? I'm wonderful, and the crowd goes wild. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, so the sun is out today. It was cold yesterday, and now it's the sun is out, so it's a good day here in Minnesota. That's right. It is. It's actually pretty nice out. I know I walked out this morning, there was that nice blanket of white, clean white snow to cover up all the dirty stuff, and it was warm. Yeah. So, so those of you that came to the Super Bowl and were worried about the cold weather, it's nice here too. <laughs> Hopefully it'll stay that way. It sounds like it's going to get kind of cold this weekend for when everyone comes into town, but oh well, we'll have to deal with it. Exactly. The weather changes, you know? Some things are constant, some things are variables. The only thing that's constant really is time. So we all have that in common, and we don't want to take too much people's time, so I'll get this sucker on the road. And what I wanted to talk to a little bit about is chiropractic in other places of the world. I mean, it's kind of, it's common here. Like we had talked before, I had a friend that got into chiropractic early on, and people wondered, what is that? Is That's chiropractic? What's that? They, now it's accepted. I mean, it's, it's kind of popular. Is it it's popular? Really, it's, you... it's starting to get there. We, we have a lot of work to do. Um, from within the profession, but yes, we are we are starting to to get to a point where more people are are accepting it. Insurance companies are starting to understand it better, and, and understanding that it is is one of the or it is the most effective and efficient way to get rid of, of chronic pain, back pain, neck pain, and a lot of different things. Well, yeah, a lot of people are reluctant to try it. I know that it's a maintenance. Um kind of thing you go on a regular basis kind of like when you take a shower every day <laughs> hygiene kind of stuff you keep going you don't just go in when you're bad absolutely well, and, and I, I always attribute it to working out you know it, it's the same thing as working out if you want to get great results and you want to maintain a, a healthy weight or good muscles you have to work out consistently you have to do it a few times a week and and keep your, your body where it needs to be well your spine is the exact same way it's like you can let it go to a point where it turns into a crisis and you're in pain, and then the chiropractor is going to help you out of it. But if you really want to stay out of pain and keep your your spine healthy and, and doing what it needs to do um, for your body and your health, it needs to be maintained, absolutely. <laughs> it's more than just the spine, though, right? I mean, you work on other joints yeah. and stuff. It's it, You know, the spine is what we treat, but, I mean, it, it's more of the nervous system. You know, okay. the, the thing, you know, I always tell people it's like, you know, the nervous system is the most important thing, the most important system within your body because it is what controls all the other systems, your circulatory system, your, your digestive system, your respiratory system. That's all controlled by your nervous system. Right. So if your nervous system isn't functioning correctly, you're going to have disease, you know, or, or you know, not equilibrium within your body. And, and that's going to start to cause mechanical issues and then eventually start to cause somatic and, and pain symptoms within your right. body. Right. It's kind of like the electrical harness on a car, right? Exactly. All the stuff going out to the different uh, light bulbs and things to make it all yep. work. And that's connected to the it. motor. It's connected to the transmission. It's connected to the everything. So I get it. Well, and I always, I always like to, to use that example as well with patients when, when talking about that. You know, when, when you're driving along in your car and the check engine light comes on, you know, like, what are you going to do? You're going to go get it checked out, right? Well, the, the pain and the symptoms that you're feeling within your body, that's like your check engine light going on. Right. And it's like, you need to go and look at that. But, you know, in order for your, your, your car to not have that engine light come on all the time, you need to have regular maintenance. See, so, you know, that's yeah, a good analogy because... Changed, and the fluid's flushed and the tire's rotated and all that stuff. That's a great analogy because a lot of people ignore those lights. You know, they kind of just, ah, it's just a light. How do you get the light out? You unplug it. <laughs> exactly. And, and... Usually when I'm using that analogy, I'm talking to people about, like, that's what you use pain medication for. Right. Using pain medication to get rid of your back pain or your neck pain is like seeing your check engine light and putting a piece of black tape over it so that you don't see it anymore. Yeah. And then, you know, but there's still something going on with your car, and eventually it's going to blow up or, you know, you know, run down on you. So I want to kind of segue into something, and I'll do it by asking a question of where did chiropractic sort of originate from? Was it here in the United States or was it somewhere yeah, else? It's actually pretty close to Minnesota here. Uh, really? Davenport, Iowa is the birthplace of chiropractic. Uh, a guy named um, D.D. Palmer um, was the originator of chiropractic. Uh, he started looking into the, the medical system and found that, you know, the medical system was broken and it wasn't getting people better. And so 
we started looking at how the, the nervous system affects different ailments such as pain and, and how there's, there's spots where the nerves exit out of the spine. And if that is interfering with that nervous system, then it's going to start to cause the body not to function the way that it should. Um, and so then he developed adjustments. And, and actually, the, the very first chiropractic patient was a janitor at the uh, school that Dee Dee Palmer was working at or at the building. And he had lost his hearing over a course of a couple years. And, you know, they, they say that after one or two adjustments, um, the janitor started to regain his hearing because wow. he had a get a nervous system block that was blocking the ability for his brain to, to hear things in the auditory components right. to, to fire on all cylinders. Well, that's really interesting that it, it uh, happened. The or origin, or origin is closer to home than I thought because I was hoping for like some kind of like ancient Asian culture or something because I was going to kind of segue into Costa Rica. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually relatively new. It just started in uh, the late 1800s. Um, you know, so oh. 100 and Hundred couple of years, hundred and ten years ago, or something like that, when it first started. Got it. That's interesting. Well, I'm going to segue into Costa Rica, anyways. Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> I'm assuming that it's it's gotten popular in other places of the world, and you know, I'm working on that development in Costa Rica, and some of the things we'll be doing is like wellness retreats and things like that. Is it is it is it popular in places like Costa Rica? It, it's starting to become more popular. Uh, there's more people, you know, especially in Europe. Um, Australia are two of the bigger, you know, continents that are that are starting to develop more chiropractic into it. Um, I know I've had some friends who have done some mission trips out in Africa. I'm not sure if they've gone to Costa Rica. I'm pretty sure there's been a couple I've heard of that people go to Costa Rica and, and just, you know, um, give chiropractic care to some of the people out there and, and start to, to have them realize sure. you know, what this sort of medicine is actually all about and, and how it's more proactive approaches to your health versus reactive. Got it. Well, maybe you want to be the pioneer that starts it. Right. <laughs> come yeah. come with right. us down to Chir- chiropractic and start doing some, do like a mission trip down there and ex- expand exactly. the message. Very cool. Absolutely be great. Well, I'm not going to take too much more time. I like to get these things up and get them out to people. And if anybody has any chiropractic issues or whatever, and they want to connect with you directly, they know how to do that by going where? They can call us at 952-746-1506. It's Health Source of Minnetonka, located in the Glen Lake area of Minnetonka off of Excelsior Boulevard. Perfect. And I usually try and put those links in here somewhere so they can just click to it and get to Dr. Derek. So I appreciate you taking the time, Dr. Derek. I'm going to sign this off and beam it up to the universe and propagate it out. And if you'll share it synergistically, we'd love that. Will do. Absolutely. Peace. Thank you.